Okay, so I wanted to do my interpretation of the perfect cup of um, cowboy coffee, how to, how to brew it <laughs> and enjoy it. So obviously number one is fire, which I've got going and I've had going now for a number of hours at camp. Um, item number two is obviously your favorite brand of coffee. Um, I'm not a big channel. This is not a paid endorsement. This just happens to be a coffee that I love and it's from um, Facing West Coffee Roasters. There's a couple of different um, blends and roasts. Um, this is the one that I enjoy the most. Finca Nilsson Lopez from uh, Colombia. And I've already pre-ground some of the beans. And obviously number three is um, water. So I'm gonna head on over and grab some water and we'll get a pot uh, boiling. When it comes to um, the water, number one, I personally find the, the colder the better. Um, today it's November the 4th in um, Canada. So needless to say, this beautiful little brook here that I'm standing next to, which is just a couple of hundred meters from camp, is ice cold. And um, cowboy coffee, find a stream or a brook or a lake and um, use that as your, your water source. Don't bring in bottled water. That's not cowboy coffee. So I'm gonna fill this up about halfway. There we go. And I'm going to um, bring it back to camp and put the coffee in. My coffee, um, cold water from the brook, it's in the pot. I'm not going to put the um, coffee in the water yet. So what I like to do personally is get this cold water slowly up to a, a warm temperature. Once it's warm, you know, uh, lukewarm, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the coffee in and I'm gonna bring the coffee to a rolling boil for about two or three minutes. So I'm just gonna put it on here. Make sure you don't spill it. And uh, let that warm up before I put the, um, the roast in. So the water's warmed up. I've got my coffee beans. I've already pre-ground um, these beans. It's just ready to go in the pot. The standard ratio is usually a, a nice tablespoon of coffee per every um, two cups of water. So I've got four cups of water um, warmed up. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coffee in. Just get that in there. Okay, and now what we want to do is just give it a little tiny stir, put it back on the fire, bring that coffee to a nice rolling boil. And what's going to happen when you boil versus percolate is you're going to take all of the, the acid out of the coffee. It's going to remove the bitterness. It's going to have a nice um, smooth taste and flavor and it's going to taste a lot different than something that comes out of the the coffee machine at home so once this gets to a rolling boil i'll give it two minutes and we're basically good to go from that point okay that is a rolling boil and that's exactly what you want to remove the acid and the bitterness from the coffee two minutes of that and we're ready to um, pull it off the fire okay so we've um, had the coffee boiling for two minutes Take it off the fire, give the coffee a couple of little swirls to let the grinds settle, put it down on the ground, give it another uh, minute to just let those grinds settle to the bottom of the pot. If I've done this correctly, when I pour it into my cup, there shouldn't be a single coffee grind in there. It's gonna be a nice, smooth cup of coffee. And here's the, um, the moment of truth. Pour a little in first, dump it out, and look at that. That's an absolute clean cup. And I'm ready now to pour myself a nice one. Um, it's time to light up a cigar and um, enjoy this. And there we have it. I've got my cigar. I've got an incredible cup of um, cowboy coffee. It tastes absolutely delicious. There's no bitterness that you typically associate with um, percolating coffee. Boiling coffee is absolutely the way to go. So I'm just going to enjoy this. Uh, I've already packed up and I'm going to um, head home back to reality. Cheers.